guys, it's Tilly and today I am doing my April wrap up video for the books that I read. I read 7 books this month and most of them are ARC so it was pretty exciting. There was a lot of good ones including a few that I have added to my favourites shelf and I'm going to pretty much rant and rave about them now to you guys. So the first book that I read is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye and my battery is low. And now there's not much of a cover on there because this e-copy did not come with one but there is a cover on Goodreads if you guys want to check it out. It's quite pretty. Um, so The Crown's Game is a really beautifully told fantasy book. So it features around three main characters. So you have Vika, you have Pasha, and you have Nikolai. And Vika and Nikolai both have these amazing and beautiful powers that are pretty much in contrast to one another. And they have to fight in The Crown's Game for a chance to be the Imperial Enchanter. Now, Pasha, who is the third main character, is the Tsar's son, and he's pretty much destined to rule Russia and have his heavy burden on his shoulders, but for now, he's pretty much living his life, doing whatever the hell he wants. And Nikolai is his best friend. So, of course, things are a little complicated when they are both competing in the Crowns game, where one of them inevitably must die. And somehow, both the boys, Nikolai and Pasha, find themselves falling for poor old Vika over there. And even even though the storyline sounds kind of typical, this book will blow your mind. There are so many plot twists and it is so beautifully written. I would compare it to the Grisha trilogy and the Night Circus and even like the Red Queen a little bit, but like I cannot get over how amazing that book was. The magic in it was like absolutely breathtaking and it is for sure going to be one of my favourites. Um, I'm so excited for the next book, like I need it immediately. This next one comes out on the 27th of June and that is The Road to Winter by Mark Smith and this one is like a really fast paced and diverse Australian uh, dystopia book so pretty much a pandemic swept across um, Australia and I'm pretty sure the rest of the world but it is only based in Australia so that's all I really know. I've definitely swept out the people of that area and it features around a boy called Finn and his dog Rowdy and like no spoilers or anything but the dog's gonna be okay because I hate books where the dogs die. It's just not fair, these animals don't deserve that. It is about a boy called Finn, getting sidetracked. And he's pretty much living the dream until a Seely girl, who is an asylum seeker, um, stumbles into his home, she's very injured and she needs help. And so of course, Finn being the kind boy that he is, he takes her into his house and helps her in every way that he can. And now, Asylum Seekers uh, pretty much were put to work on Australia before this pandemic swept out so there are a lot of them kind of floating around but the thing with the pandemic is, is that it killed mostly women so a lot of the wilders, the outlaws are roaming around and trying to pretty much claim land and anything they want and also a lot of women because we're awesome I guess but they pretty much just want to control them and that's kind of totally wrong. But saying that, this book does not shy away from the bad stuff that happens in a post-apocalyptic world. And so it's not really for the faint-hearted, but it is a very quick and easy read. I enjoyed it. Um, there was a few plot twists I did not see coming. And like, for such a thin book, so much happens in it. Like, I still can't believe everything. Um, but yes, if you guys want Australian-based dystopia, jump on this. This next one is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, and I absolutely adored this book. It is my first Morgan Matson book, and where has she been all my life? Like, I need to read her other books because I fell in love with this one. And it's quite surprising because, like, when I think about it, there's not really a plot to this book. It is just going around this group of friends' lives, and I was so interested and wanted to read everything about their lives, and I really loved it. So this is about Andy, who's a congressman's daughter. Um, she doesn't really know her father that well. Her mother died five years beforehand, and her dad's been so focused on his job that he pretty much forgets he has a daughter. But she's totally fine with that because she's got her four friends. You've got Toby, you've got Bree, you've got Palmer, and Palmer's boyfriend, Tom. And they all hang out and have, like, the best time ever. Um, but this summer, Andy is going to her internship at John Hopkins Medical to pretty much put her foot in the door in her medical career. Until her dad is involved in a scandal and pretty much the guy who gave her the internship just pulls it out from underneath her and he does what Andy can only do and she drives to this guy's house pretty much preparing to beg for this internship back. 
and then she finds herself saving this adorable white fluffy dog that was running in the middle of the road and of course when she finds the owner for him he is this like cute book fanboy called Clark who you guys are gonna absolutely fall in love with because he is just an absolute sweetheart and you know he's just adorable and her life becomes intertwined with his when she decides that for her summer, which is now free, she's going to get a dog walking job. So you guys get to meet like all these adorable pooches that are on the cover here. And like it's so funny because they all have such characteristics for dogs and like the author Morgan Matson has gone to so much detail for them all that you love every single dog in this book. And so you just follow Andy and her friends as I have this awesome summer and of course a few things go wrong that creates a few plot twists in this book, um, but overall I just, I really adored it. Next up is a book that I have no idea where I have placed it, and that is Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell, which is like a really short um, contemporary read that was done for the book, a book day? World book that was done for World Book Day and I got sent a copy from my friend who also lives in Perth and so thank you for that and it was like such a cutesy little book I loved it um, especially like it's a pick me up between books so it is about a girl um, whose name completely escapes me who pretty much goes to wait in line for The Force Awakens and it's only her and two other people in this line and so it's like goes through the process of her waiting and making friends with them and then the actual premiere and I just really loved it like I really liked the characters and it was just so good a cute little read so these next two are like the super awesome ARCs that I got I have to keep my lips sealed about anything that happens in these but I can kind of just tell you guys a bit about what they are but no no more than that the Leaving by Tara Altibrando, and this isn't much of a cover to go off, but guys, this book is going to be awesome. Um, it is about six kindergartners that went missing one day. Uh, someone appeared on a bus and took them from their school, and they were never to be seen again for 11 years. When five of them returned back to their normal lives with no idea or recollections of what actually happened to them. And so pretty much they get put back into the society, and so they have like the police and the news reporters and their families asking them all these questions, like where's the sixth boy gone did you guys really lose your memories and they can't answer these questions but they themselves are also trying to get to the bottom of it so it goes between three perspectives um, from two of the people who are the kindergartners that went missing and the sister of the boy that never returned and what I really loved about this book is the realistic aspect to it so it is a mystery thriller but it was really good um, in my opinion, the romance in it wasn't the best, but everything else was hands down amazing. Um, and I'm really, really hope that you guys like this book because I need to rave about it with somebody. So this next one, a lot, a lot of people are excited for. And I was lucky enough to get an, this ARC copy of it. And to disappoint a lot of you, um, I did not like the first book in the series. I really disliked it and I remember telling my friend Alison that I wasn't going to read the book and then in a weird twist of fate I got chosen to read the book and I was super duper happy that I did because I absolutely fell in love with it. So the first one is A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Maas and the one that I had the pleasure of reading was A Court of Mist and Fury. And so for those of you guys who know about um, this series, it is about a girl called Feyre who is a human girl that finds herself killing a fey um, in the woods and in retribution this fey lord called Tamlin takes her as like a life for a life kind of thing. So pretty much she becomes his and she gets taken to this huge fey magical world and is put in this household in this world that she doesn't know and her life is pretty much flipped upside down but eventually she starts to realize that the man in the mask is not the beast that she originally thought he was and so she might find herself falling for him a bit and then this huge plot twist happens in the middle of the book and like it's just completely thrown up in the air all this bad stuff happens and yeah stuff goes down you know it's like all hell breaks loose and it's hectic and um yeah so it's a high fantasy book and if you guys like Sarah J Maas you're probably gonna love it um there was something that I did not like in the second half of the book which made me not want to read any more of this series but lo and behold I did and I absolutely love this book like I gave it five stars it is now one of my favorite books in 
my whole collection and I can't wait to get my paperback copy of this which I have already pre-ordered because it's just it was so good it was so and lastly for this month, I finished off with a graphic novel that I have been wanting to read for a while. And I've heard a lot of good things about it before then, and now that I've read it, I can agree this is probably one of the greatest graphic novels ever, and that is Lumberjanes. So it follows the adventure of these five Lumberjanes here, and it's pretty much crazy, fun, hectic, and totally ship-worthy of some of these characters. And it's funny, and I loved everything about it, and I need to get the others in this series, which I should be doing soon. As soon as Payday rolls around, they're mine. Wait, nope, I'm on a book buying ban. Book buying ban. I will have to wait. So there you guys have the books that I have read this last month. I'm currently reading The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters, and so far it's pretty good. It took a while to get into it, but now I'm like completely hooked. This is like a mystery thriller book, and it's, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see what it's going to turn out like. I'm still not sure what's going to happen. If you guys have any questions or anything, you guys can comment them below, or you've got my social media links, which you guys can just hit me up whenever you want. And I shall be back with another video again soon. And until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and enjoy some good books, and just have a generally great time. Uh... That is all for now. Bye-bye.